so in this video i'll show you some best tip for your operating system if you are using any microsoft operating system how do i check the usage of application ram and how you can free it completely free it uh, just click on uh, right click on the taskbar and open the task manager if you are new on this uh, YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and share it with friend. If you have any question, just drop in comment section. I'll respond to you through the tutorial videos. Anyways, okay, just click on the performance tab and then click on the memory. Then click on the open resource monitor. Okay, clicking on the memory is not important. Just click on the performance and then click on the open resource monitor. Then click on the memory. Now here you can see the usage and the standby uh, standby actually it's considered as a cache reserve cache okay now only you have free ram is 2 mb uh, 2000 mb means 2 gb and uh, overall the 4 gb is in use of your application as a cache now how you can free it up only you need a ram map tool you can download it from microsoft the official website mostly pupils have a uh, question that ram map is uh, safe for pc for my uh, operating system or not so don't worry about it it's actually available on the uh, microsoft website the official microsoft website you can see here just go on the website you can read all the uh, description here and also you can see here the further uh, advantages of the ram map now how it's work i'll show you in this video simply I'm going to open this RAM app. Once you open it, just uh, I'm holding it on the right side and the, on the left side, you can see the monitor. Now let's clear the, uh, the RAM usage and the cache. Just click here on the empty set actually and uh, now click on the empty work set first and then empty work uh, system working set also you can just focus here how actually it's clearing the RAM now clearing the modified page list and then just clearing the empty standby list once you clear this you can see now you have 4 GB free RAM and also clear the empty zero sets now once again repeat this uh, method procedure again and you can see you have now free ram and it's around 5 gb still it's increasing but uh, at least you will get 4 gb maximum 4 gb free space now why it's actually uh, again increasing the services are uh, starting again those services are not important for your pc right now but might be later on you do some browsing and uh, internet use and some other ki kind of use that actually start up uh, on the background also you can clear some uh, history of your uh, applications catch it from here just uh, type here the run or just press the windows and hold it with r button and you will get the run command prompt now here you can type three commands the temp and once again we are performing the same task percentage temp percentage and once again we are typing here the prefetch hit enter now these three folders you can see here you don't currently have permission to access this folder just click on the continue and then select all delete once you delete this just uh, close it if it's uh, saying the action cannot be completed because the file is open in sysmain so just click here do this for all currently items and skip it close it Perform this action on three folders. Control A, select all and then delete. Shift delete is more better because uh, when you delete the files uh, will still remain in the recycle bin. But if you do shift delete, shift plus delete, then you delete actually uh, permanently from your pc and that's the way guys you can free up your ram i hope you like this video 
this video really helpful to you now please hit the subscribe button and share it with friend if you have any question in your mind relating the encounters error of softwares or game or any kind of or if you even need free software then just contact me on facebook or drop comment i'll give you the link of my facebook profile then i'll provide you the further software uh, pre-activated softwares uh, on facebook i hope you like this video hit the subscribe button